What's up guys, Jeremy Muscle here with another video. So, you get you a car and it's a manual and you don't know how to drive. Well, this is all you have to do. Okay, so you first get in the car, you turn the key on to the on position, and then press the clutch down all the way to the floor, turn the key over and start it up, and then let off the clutch. Okay, so if you wanna go into gear, what you do is you push a clutch in all the way to the floor, grab your shifter, put it straight forward. And then you let off the shifter or you let off the clutch and start to give it gas. And then you'll start rolling. And once you start rolling, let off the clutch a little bit more and then until you're all the way off of it and then just keep your foot on the gas. And what I do is when my car gets up to 2,500 RPMs, which is right in between the two and the three, that's when I shift my car and all you have to do is put your foot on the clutch again, all the way to the floor, and then grab your shifter, put it in second, let off the clutch slowly, and then just keep the gas going. That's all you have to do. And uh, that's all you gotta do through all the gears that you go through. Now when you're slowing down, some people they downshift. Um, I don't really do that because it can mess up your transmission and it eats your brake pads away. So what I do is, when I'm coming to a stop, when I'm slowing down, I push the clutch in all the way and say if I'm in third gear, I pull it straight back uh, to the middle, wiggle it, and then that's in when you're in neutral. So you just coast to a stop and when you come up on a stop sign or a stoplight, that's when you press the gas in. And you don't have to worry about your car dying because you're in neutral, you're not in gear, you won't, your car won't die. And then when you wanna go to go forward again after you stopped at a stop sign or a stoplight, what you do is you push the clutch in all the way to the floor, grab your shifter, push it up in first gear, let off the shit or let off the clutch, and then give it gas, and then you should be good from there on out. This car that I'm in now, um, it didn't really take me a while to learn how to drive. It took me about 20 minutes to learn how to drive this car. Um, this is a 2002 BMW 325i. And the gears in this car is like set up like a drag strip pretty much because once you go from first gear you're going like 15 miles an hour and then you got to switch into second gear because your rpms will go up to like 2500 and that's when you want to shift and then you'll be in third gear within a blink of an eye so but these cars are not hard to drive um so yeah that's all you have to do make sure you push a clutch in all the way and then put it in first gear and then let off the clutch slowly and keep your foot on the gas while you're letting off the clutch and then you'll be good you'll be fine if you do stall it and the car dies all you have to do is just the car will be off so you just push the clutch in all the way and then restart it but make sure make sure your car is in neutral because if it's not if it's in a gear your car will take off and you don't want those problems um, I did that once before in my driveway and uh, my car went forward but I just stopped real quick and then put it in neutral make sure you always put your car in neutral when you turn your car off um, some people they have a problem where their e-brake doesn't work manual owners they always have their e-brake up but if you do have a manual and your e-brake does not work at all what you can do is put your car in first gear Turn your car off, and then you're good. That's all you have to do. But make sure when you go to start it, you push the clutch in, you put the car in neutral, and then start it. That way your car doesn't go forward and hit whatever's in front of you, or if you're in reverse, so it doesn't back up and hit whatever's behind you. So make sure that you always keep your car in neutral, um, unless your car doesn't have a working e-brake make sure to try to avoid hills as much as you can if your e-brake doesn't work but like i said if if the e-brake doesn't work you can always put it in first gear or you can put it in any gear just make sure that you do take it out of gear before you start the car because you will go forward or backwards depending on which gear you're in so if you guys like the video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe 
and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Have a good rest of your day.